Hi guys, this video is a very short guide on how you can remove the annoying virtual uh, keyboard inside an Android emulator. Okay, so as I am making React Native apps, uh, there is a concept called keyboard handling. Okay, keyboard handling is a very important one where if you have input fields, the keyboard has to push that input field up so that uh, users can see what they are typing. Okay, but if you are going to use virtual keyboards in an Android uh, emulator, right, it doesn't emulate exactly on how um, a real device might work. So, um, like in, in a real world or production scenario, you should definitely use a real device. But if you are developing and you just want to test, okay, if this input field works or not, and the keyboard handling is properly done or not, uh, the Android emulator provides us with a virtual keyboard, which I believe has no use case. That's what I believe, right? If you use a physical keyboard, uh, then you can clearly see how the OS handles the uh, keyboard handling and all those things. So in this video, I will explain how you can uh, switch uh, to a real physical keyboard from a virtual keyboard in an Android emulator. Okay, I am using the latest version of Android Studio and this is a Pixel 9 Pro. Okay, I am going to show the step by step process of uh, moving from what is it, like uh, a virtual keyboard to a physical keyboard. So if I go here. Right. And then if I tap on this, you see, I have to go here and tap on show on screen keyboard. What is this? Right? Like, I don't understand uh, this. So this is a virtual keyboard which doesn't emulate any uh, keyboard handling logic. Okay. Now uh, to fix this, go to your settings. Scroll down. Go to system. And then um, tap on keyboard. Tap on on screen keyboard tap on gboard they conveniently like i don't like uh, i don't want to uh, this but uh, is this uh, tappable even like if there's a button or something or a card we, we will know but uh, i get confused a lot because i want i'm not able to tap on this but so i i so not able to tap but uh, this doesn't feel like a tappable command but that's not a problem let's tap on this and then here go to physical keyboard and Tap on show on screen keyboard. Okay. So once you do that, let's go here. And then let's tap on this. Let's go here. Show on screen keyboard. Sorry, you have to toggle this off. And then go to write in text fields. Okay. Toggle it off. What is this? Okay, try uh, No, cancel. Toggle it off and then go back and then uh, yeah, let's go back to here. Okay, you can see it automatically works. So I uh, I had to change it. Toggle off. Let's go to settings and then uh, okay, uh, tap on what? Write in text fields. Write in text fields. Tap on write in text fields. Toggle off. Okay, disable. Slash toggle off. Uh, what is this? Uh, use stylus to. Use stylus to. Write in text fields. Write in text fields. Okay. Toggle this off. Toggle both of those off. And then you will automatically have your keyboard okay this will emulate your uh, real world uh, keyboard handling right uh, why i am making this video because i like for example if i update android studio and move to a pixel 10 right i forget this step okay like uh, because some parts are not tappable etc so even i myself can come back to this video and see the steps and turn it off so, and then I also saw a lot of developers in Stack Overflow, uh, like, uh, like providing new, new solutions as Android Studio and Android emulators keep on update, updating. So, um, yeah, this is how you can go and uh, switch off your uh, uh, virtual keyboard and then move to a physical keyboard to emulate real world keyboard handling. So, that's it for this guy. I will see you in the next video.